I'm really, really very grateful for today. Uh, it's been a such amazing and a very wonderful day um, of my life. You know, getting married with uh, my long-term lover, my beautiful wife, Esther. Um, she's really been of supportive in a difficult time, in a happiness, in sickness. Uh, for over 13 years, she's been on uh, my side. She has shown me her reality. Uh, she's shown me support, love, care, no matter what circumstances. I really have no way to describe how I feel about her. Just wanted to say that I love her so much and I continue to love her all my life. Um, she was from a rich family. As a refugee myself, I was poor. The family was not happy about it, uh, which ended up in a time of getting in a, in a prison just because of the love. But she stayed in the sun for six hours in front of the prisoner, just waiting for me, fighting for me, fighting for our love, just to love a poor person like me. She did not follow material, but she followed the true love. And for that reason, I acknowledge her today. And that's of the reason I decided to commit my life to be with her until only the day separates us. From the very, very first time that my body jam you, girl. I've been happy because you just smell nice, all the type of eyes you get. Whatever the case may be, make you don't say you got a hold on me. The girl of my dreams is so soggy. Baby, all the point of possible to see you again. Sun they shine, rain they fall, wind they blow. Girl, I think of you. Weather for two, baby, where are you? Can't you see the way that I'm missing you? Why? You're making me the fumble, I the tumble, I the lose my mind. Tell me how to make you realize So now you be the reason when a strong man they do totally yeah. Baby, what in me the thing where you put for my body yeah. That thing where they officially make me misbehave Baby, what in me the thing where you put for my system yeah. The same thing where they normally they do me totally yeah. Just a 
Oh, yeah. 
this time has come where your children were preparing to see. Today, Jackson and Esther are here so that we can celebrate in your presence together. Thank you, God, for making this ceremony, making this dream a reality. Today, we are there with your children. We thank you, we worship you, we adore you, be with us, let your Holy Spirit be with us, let your hand be manifest in this place, sent from angels, uh, your angel from heaven, to come and surround us and help us, because without you, we can do nothing. Be with us, guide us from the beginning to the end. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Michael, as the class, please come and stand here, please. Oh, good afternoon, everyone. It's wonderful, wonderful to be here at this, at this celebration of this important milestone, the life of this uh, family, Michael and and Esther, I would like to welcome you all, those who've come here to witness, to witness a special event in the, in the life of these two people. And thank you, Pastor Costa, for your greetings and, and for your and for your prayer. We honor God in, in marriage because God is the one who created marriage. He is the one who instituted the first the first marriage. And that was the beginning, a plan for, for human rights. In creation, God declared, it's not good for a man to be alone. I will make him a helper suitable for him. And every man needs a wife, every lady needs a husband. It was God who brought Eve to Adam, created her, and pronounced the first marriage union. In the New Testament, the husband and wife are said to be joined together by God. And, and Jesus himself sanctioned the marriage by attending the marriage in, in Cana in Galilee. And the first ever miracle Jesus created was at the, at the wedding. And he said Jesus in Matthew chapter 19 verses 5 and 6, For this reason a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and two will become one flesh. So they're no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore what God has joined together, let no man separate. Marriage is a God-given institution, created and blessed for our benefit. And before any village, any city, any country, any legal or government political system existed, family was there. Family is a foundational block of any society. And it's wonderful that you've come to this decision to make official marriage in the, guise of, in the eyes of God and a Christian community. As a body of believers were born and believe that God views marriage is as a covenant in the Bible. Marriage is spoken as a covenant, and we accept this view. You know, a covenant is a more solemn binding relationship in which two parties can enter. When God speaks about his relationship with his people, with Israel and other nations, he often speaks about covenant. And when we talk about marriage, and the Bible speaks about marriage, it also speaks about covenant, the closest relationship one can enter. Christian marriage is freely chosen. It's a lifelong. It's an exclusive relationship between the husband and wife under the authority of God. You know, marriage is not a contract. There is a confusion about that. Marriage is not a contract. It's a covenant. It's much stronger, more important. There is a difference between a covenant and a contract. A covenant is based on trust and selflessness between parties. Contract, though, is based on distrust and self-interest. 
A covenant is based, based on unlimited responsibility. Cannot be broken if a new circumstance occur. The contract can be voided by mutual consent. Today you are entering the covenant, not the contract. You are not looking at your interests. You are looking at the interests of your partner from now on. The marital bond is to be of total commitment, complete faithfulness, selflessness, and permanence. Marriage is established and bed blessed but by God, so the marriage covenant is not to be broken. It's to be honored among all the people, in your families, in your church, in your community. As the Bible says, the man shall leave his father and the mother and be joined to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. Not a happy couple, but one flesh. From then, from that time on. Remember what the Bible says in 1 Corinthians, love never fails. And sometimes it's difficult to love. Sometimes it's difficult to love. Sometimes it's hard to forgive. Sometimes it's hard to be patient and care. At that time, we, God's children, will come before Him, we kneel down and say, Lord, I gave that promise when I entered the covenant, before you and before your community. Fill my heart with love towards my partner. Help me to love and care and forgive. And then a miracle occurs. Lord, fills your heart with love. And you are not acting according to your flesh, but you are acting according to the Spirit. Now, happiness is a that's how they, it works in marriage. Do it yourself. You need to work hard. And you don't have to look for the right person to be happy. You have to be a right person yourself first. And sacrifice. And change your experience. And I often speak about marriage. It's like a, imagine a triangle. God to be on top at the center and husband and wife being on the side. The closer you get to God, the closer you are to one another. And it's not just us who is here this afternoon, but Lord Jesus himself. Witnessing, observing, particularly when you are going to give your vows. Remember those vows are not are given just in front of the uh, Christian community. Remember that vows are not given just before your partner. The vows are given before God himself. And he will hold you accountable how faithful you were when you gave those vows you keep them from. And I want to ask you in front of this Christian community, all the gifts and your friends will come and God himself, are you ready to give the vows to one another today as a symbol of your covenant? You need time to think? <laughs> ready? You Michael? Yeah, good. It's always think first before you decide. <laughs> yeah. Michael, I will say, and you hold this as Don't do that. Hi, Michael. Thank you, Esther, to be my lawful wife. I will love you and cherish you in sickness and in health, for richer and poor, for better and worse. Or seeking or driver. And I will keep myself only for you. As long as we both live. In a good
and repeat after me loud uh, so everyone can hear. This is me. I give myself to this ring is a symbol of my commitment to you. I enter this covenant of marriage. You will promise me my number one. And if necessary, I give you bus and <laughs>
announce you husband and wife. Faithful God, you are worthy to be 
that's different sentiments.
gentlemen, I want to welcome the Gvom's representative and uh, this is very challenging and it's very uh, a big night for the family, especially for Jackson and Esther. So I want to welcome to the, uh, to the stage to say a few words, Mr. Abel, coming from the sides of the Gvom. Welcome. Kwa siku ya leo, kwa sherehe ya ndugu zetu, uh, ndugu Jackson Michael Kayonde na Esther Uwiman. We thank God for this special occasion tonight uh, of the measurement year of Mr. Michael and Esther. Lakini tunamshukuru mungu sana kabisa kwa sababu ya wazazi wao. Mkuliko nasimama kwa niaba ya mzazi wa Jackson kwa leo. Mpongeze kwanza mzazi ambaye ya memzaa Jackson. I stand forth uh, here representing Jackson's father. Na tumpongeze tena mzazi wa Esther, mwasinge kuwepo, leo hatunge onana sisi. Also, let us a uh, round of applause for Esther's family because without her, without her, them won't be here tonight. So before I say anything else, I would like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we meet together. And I thank also the elders present in the past and the future. Basi mbele ya kuendelea na pena ni washukuru wa wenenshi. Kwa hiyo na wakaribisha nyote ambaye mumekuja kwa sherehe ya leo kwa niaba ya Jackson na mzazi wake ya mule mie nyandekwe. And I welcome all of you here tonight uh, on behalf of Jackson and Esther. Leo mumepokelewa na familia hiyo kwa hiyo nataka Mujipongeze kwa sababu mumeweza kufumilia And tonight you've been welcomed um, with the families And I want you to um, give yourself a round of applause because you've um, accepted the invitation Kwa sababu ya hiyo na penda ni washukuru na ni wapi nafasi ya kunywa kinywaji ya bacho kiko mbele yenu If tuwezi kuzungumza machache kuhusu siku ya leo and for that I want to thank you and also so we can celebrate and have a drink or two on what is uh, being prepared so we can both all celebrate tonight. Sasa jisikie huru muko nyumbani kalibu kinywaji badai ndo tutaweza kuendelea kunywa na gula na kusikia maneno mengini. So therefore make yourselves at home. We have food, drinks, um, take a piece and we, I'm sure we'll get out to know each other better on. Tumushukuru mungu kwa yote ambaye mungu ametutendea kwa siku ya leo. Amina. Let's thank God for everything that is done to far for us for this evening. Thank you. Hello to everyone. Habari zenu. How are we going? Jina yangu Leandre. I'm on by Leandre. Na ninasimamia Esther. And I'm standing here on behalf of Esther. Hivi nasema kwa jina la Musuhuke Steven eh, baba yake na Esther. So I'm speaking on behalf of Suhuke Steven who is Esther's father. Uh, nilitoka kidogo nje nikamuita kusimu na nikamwambia mambo kinzi yanaendeka hapa. Unajua teknolojia ilichakuwa ngufu sana. Tukamtumia na ka video anafurahi sana na anasema ni wasalimie sana. Sasa hii nishamwelezea kama mwingine wote mko hapa. Uh, a while ago, I stepped aside and spoke to Esther's father, and very delighted to have all of you here. Anasema ni wasalimi etena sana na mukipige vigele vigele gizi muri kuya ku uzuri ya imukutano ya watoto wao. He sends his greetings, and we should all celebrate to be here to celebrate uh, with his uh, daughter. Uh, Abel, na furai sana kwa gizi mume tu pokea. I'm very, I'm very uh, happy for your warm welcome and thank you for the, for the drinks. Na tunashukuru kabisa. Eh acha tuendelee tukunywe. Tungari tutaongea maneno mengine. Asante sana. And we very uh, grateful and we continue to talk. Thank you. Asante asante. Kwa mila na desturi lazima nije nisalimie mgeni. Si ndio jamaa? Mpigie makofi huyu ndo ametugawa. Sorry for <laughs> thank you. I felt like I was bumping into into the conversation, but it is a tradition that I come and say greetings to our fellow in-law.
On behalf of the, the Groom's family, I want to uh, thank you all for coming here and also I want to uh, call our guests for this evening to tell us a few words um, about this evening. Nimeona kwanza ni kupe chakula, ukule ushinde, kwetu tunasema hakora munda. Kamatungo iko wazi ya utafanya chachoti. Sinia. I wanted to feed you first and then we can talk and where I came from we say Akura Munda because without uh, eating you can't really say much. So karibu sana dogo utuamie machache kuhusu familia yuli wa kilicha labda kuna mawili matatu ya ku kuwaga usichana wendo tunampeleka leo sasa rasmi I want to welcome you to tell us a few words, one or two, about your, your daughter because uh, from now on she's ours. I want to thank you, Bell. Uh, 
Kondani, Australia. And I'm also grateful for this country that we win. For the peace and love they've uh, shown us. Because without peace we won't be here. And as though you know, the reason why we're here is because we didn't have peace back home. And we also want, want to thank the Australian government for the wonderful work they done for us. Uh, Wabasta, wenye walibariki ndoa ya watoto wetu. We want to thank all the pastors that uh, were uh, involved in blessing this ceremony. Ningependa Pastor Constante asimame na mumpigie vigiri vigiri. I want Pastor Constante to stand up and uh, give him a round of And I thank the newly wedded couple to stand up. So we can also give them a round of applause for bringing these commitments in front of the church, in front of the government, and finally here in front of you. Thank you, you may be sitting. I was talking to Jackson and Esther, I was talking to Jackson. Jackson, you were talking to your girlfriend with my child. I once just spoke to Jackson and I asked him if he's ever had a girlfriend in his life. But he said, now, apart from Esther. And I asked this Esther the same thing as well. And she also replied the same. Sasa, hawa watu wenye wanafanya ndoa na hawajawahi kuwa na boyfriend wengine ama wakafriend wengine kweli hawezi kuwapigia tena vigeregere mara nyingine for these people to try to reach the people that haven't really had a girlfriend before na pale ningependa nipitishe ka message kwa hawa kijana wetu na wabinti wetu na also want to pass on the message towards our, our, our young people here that what you call girlfriend and boyfriend. How many times are you going to do your weddings? Nawaomba I plead that you don't disrespect your parents. Alakini mufuase mufano ya Jackson na Esther. But we should follow the example of Jackson and Esther. Don't feel bad. This culture is our African culture. It's, there's no any country from Africa that can go against that culture. And there's nothing that I can say that is not true. Hakuna Adventist, hakuna Protestant, hakuna Muslim mmoja atasema hiyo mambo ya boyfriend na girlfriend ni mambo mazuri. There's no Christian or Muslim or anybody that can say boyfriend and girlfriend is a good thing. Okay, hii ilikuwa parenthesis. Asante sana. That was a brief so thank you very much. Then in the lane na kushukuru Abel kweli tumekula tumekunywa tumeshiba. And I want to thank Abel because we've eaten, we have drunk, and we, now we are full. And we have also seen dance. And we're very pleased. I 
I recorded a small video and sent it to Esther's father. Steven said you na watoto wanacheza. Yeah. Aniambia kungekuwa express ya avion kama na mimi ningekuwa na Nairobi pale. And Steven said when he saw it he said that if there was an express uh plan it would be here. Lakini anasema msijali mko tu pamoja hata iko mbali mimi kwa roho mko pamoja. But he said we are all together in spirit. Sasa ndugu wa Benzi Abel Nashukuru sana. So Abel, I want to thank you. Na umweleze yomze ya mwenye ya kwamba msuhuke. Na waza kumubadilishia. Sini ule este, ni ule ule. Uliona ni mwingine? Hakuna ni ule ule kapsa. Sawa, na nasema ukipenda na mbele na wamsika wa mingi kuja atakuka mwingine. Aksanti sana. And you have to... So, as his father said that he still has uh, other daughters, so anytime they want, they can come and bring take more. Thank you. 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 Apate ujumbe kama huyo afrai. Tell Esther's father that we're pleased that even though we've been now uh, with Esther for 13 years, uh, we've decided to take that step. Ndiyo mana tumefuraia sana kusikia kwamba bado wengine wapo. Tunavyoona Esther, gisi ya nanga, na gisi ya mesaidia familia, na gisi ya meshazaa wa toto sita, na leo mbele ya pasta metukubalia kuzaa wengine sita, itakuwa kumi na wawili uh, wanafunzi wa Yesu Kristo na kuambia hapo sasa familia yako imebarikiwa and as we've seen now we know that we can come and take more as we see how beautiful Esther is and she confirmed tonight today that she's gonna bring six more kids which makes it 12 uh, like uh, Jesus is apostle so your family is blessed na kuambia vijana pale wanaona wamesha sikia hilo ujumbe ni wakwao Na tutaendelea kuambia familia yako tuitembelea kabisa wote tuwalete usiri. And now our new invited couple have information and we continue to tell our people uh, in, in Australia as well. Tunafraia sana gisi mume mlea Esther na gisi mume mkomalisha na gisi mume mtuletea tumempata ni yule yule hamuku badirisha kwa kweli tunafraia sana. We are very pleased with the way Esther has been brought up from uh, from a young age up until this, uh, this stage. We are very happy. Na kweli tunataka tukuhakikishie kwamba tutaendelea kumutunza vizuri salama salimini ili na yeye aendelea kujisikia huru ndani ya familia yetu. And we want to assure, that, to assure you that uh, she will continue to be treated with respect and uh, so that she can still be in the same condition as she is tonight. Najua hata mzee akisikia na akiona gisi tume anatamalaki yule Esther najua hata tupa na wengine kabisa. And I'm sure that uh, Esther's father when uh, he thinks about this and why she sees what she is how Esther is looking by your son how he looks kabisa sijua kikuwa ni muislamu nige sema alihandulila. So sijua hata kuwa ni nani nitasema oh munga sifiwe so that you can say man kwa lugha gani ili ni kueleze gisi tumefuraya ningeongea lugha zote lakini hatuna muda wa kutosha mwambie tumefuraya na endelee tusaidia sisi bado tuko watoto tutaendelea kumhitaji ili atupe maelekezo ya kuelewa I don't know which uh, how I can express my my feelings but I want to to tell you that we really appreciate Na umambie mzee kwamba kwa kweli kijana wangu Jackson nimemulea vizuri na hee anajua kuchapa kazi ndo imana tumewaleta wote wao wa shuhudi. And also I wanted to tell Esther's father that uh, my boy Jackson is a really hard worker. That's why there's a lot of people here. Umambie yuko Esther kwa mikono mizuri, mikono mitakatifu ya huyo baba Jackson, Max, eh, Kayone, Michael na kuambie kila kitu hata kosa. Umambie and you should know that uh, S is in the very uh, right hands, faithful hands of uh, Mr. Jackson, so he shouldn't worry about anything. And also send our greetings to the uh, family. Amina, Amina.
Jamani naomba mtu mpongeze huyo ambaye ametugawia mtoto wake. Jamani shangwe na vigeregere jamani. Eh, nashukuru sana. Nashukuru sana. Na pia napata nafasi hii ya kuwashukuru nyie wageni ambao mmekuja kutusaidia kupokea Esther na familia yake. And I also want to take this opportunity to thank everybody, every one of you for coming here tonight to celebrate this ceremony. Thank you very much. Thank you. Najua, I'm, 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 I'm sure you come to this.
That was a special for you. As I take my breath back, Nisha, Nisha, quite fat, eh? Jesus Christ. Hey, DJ, can you take over? I need to rest. Okay, I need to take this thing over. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much.
nobody wants to be known as single. It's okay. I don't know if it's right with that. What about the single ladies? This is the time when I need you.
danse comme Rolls Royce sur moto. <rire>